So according to numerous studies, men care just as much about their looks as females. They're just too scared to admit it because we're probably insecure about our masculinity or something like that. So can we just cut the crap and stop acting like we don't care? I mean, if you found out for some reason that you were gonna lose all your hair within the next few years, that would bother you as well, right? Welcome to another video and if you're new on the channel, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Chris and I study sports science at the University of Copenhagen and I might be losing my hair, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video. But first, just a few words from today's sponsor, me. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I have a fitness channel as well here on YouTube and you've probably seen my transformation video, my viral transformation video as well. And as you probably also know then, my mission in life at the moment is to help people reach their goals and transform their bodies. So just wanted to shout out the new video I made on my fitness channel, it should pop up around here. In this video I talk about my online coaching because I just relaunched my website and the platform and everything. So. If you want to transform your body and get ready for summer, go check out the video or just simply go straight to my website. Both links are in the description. So let's get back to the hair talk, okay? So a few months ago, I got this comment on a video. Your hairline is receding slightly. Do something about that ASAP, man, if you don't want to lose your hair completely. Me. Not really sure that's the case. I think it's just because I used the cum to put my hair back in this video. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just go bald, lol. Actually, me. <sighs> so, I forgot about it for a while. But then I had this person writing in my DMs on Instagram. And he said, how do you deal with balding? Can you make a tutorial video on that? And I was probably moody or something and I said, bro, why are you asking that? I'm not f***ing balding. So why are you asking me? And then he says, cause your hairline is receding. Look bro, I just need help. How do you deal with the balding? This guy is obviously desperate and he just wanted my help. Um, but I was probably being frustrated about his messages or in a bad mood or something. And I just said it plainly like, you're being really f***ing obnoxious, you know that, right? My hairline is not receding, not anything I've noticed at least. If it is, then I don't care, then I just go bald. Nothing you can do about it. And then to further illustrate how clearly uh, uh, frustrated I am, <laughs> I choose to send him a uh, picture, an old picture from 2015, uh, showing that, you know, back then, like many years ago, I had a high hairline or whatever. I've often gotten comments on YouTube saying, Oh, Chris, you don't have a forehead, you have a five head. Ha ha ha. As if that's funny. That is kind of funny. I know I do have a big, but you know, it's, it's all that brain power. It's all that brain capacity, you know, big brain moves. Yeah. Um, and I said, you know, this picture is from 2015. I don't see a difference, lol. And we spoke for a bit and he said, well, thank you for your time, bro. Again, I apologize if I was obnoxious. Just wanted to hear what other people are doing to keep their hair intact. God bless. And no problem, man. I mean, I understand the frustration because clearly, if I have to be honest with myself, I am a bit frustrated too. I went to see like an old video uh, where I'm sitting in the same position as right now. And of course it could be the short hair, making a difference back then or something like that. I haven't had a haircut in a while because of, um, you know, all the shops are closed and all that. Um, but it surely does look like my hairline is receding or has receded a bit in the past years. Um, so I looked it up and I found that most men experience a receding hairline between the age of 17 to 29. And I'm 24, so I mean, it's not unusual or something to really worry about if my hairline has receded a bit, right? Right, guys? Also, this article. Around 95% of men will start to notice their hairline etching up their head a little as early as in their late teenage years or early 20s. Again, I'm 24, so it's probably normal. My dad, though, he's in, in his 50s, and he's, you know, pretty much almost bald. I mean, he has some hair around here, but... Um, but he looks good with it though, and I'm just really not sure I would look good being bald. I mean, I could try to Photoshop it and see, I don't know, but I don't think so. So what to do? 
I mean, I've tried to tell myself that I would be cool with it, like I wrote in the comment before, if I start losing my hair in an early age like my dad. But I think it, it could just be something I'm trying to tell myself, really. I mean, what if it looks like crap? <laughs> I mean, if it gets to a really bad point and it starts to, you know, affect your social life and your well-being, I think it's completely okay to do something about it. Say if it affects your self-confidence or even if you just look like weird for the people you meet and all that. I mean, being bald can look really cool for some, it can suit some people and others maybe not so much. I don't think it would suit me. A bit, not even. Um, and that could affect your social life, right? So if it gets to that point for me, I'll probably make a video on how I'm gonna treat it. I mean, even a hair transplant is not even out of the question for me at all. I mean, if I'm in the around 30 and my hairline is completely messed up and it looks really bad, uh, I could go for a hair transplant. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's not even that expensive anymore. I feel like, you know, some people are just like dogmatically against um, cosmetic surgery or changes or anything like that. My view has always been that if you don't feed into like a completely unrealistic uh, body image or like beauty image or something, then I think it's okay. Then people should just do whatever makes them feel better. Of course, if you can work on feeling good with yourself and being satisfied with your looks, that's really awesome. But also, it's okay not to be satisfied. I mean, imagine if I had just been satisfied with my body back then and I never worked to like change it or do anything about it. And in that regard, by the way, I'll just play that video I mentioned before here in the end of this video, so you can stay a bit if you want to see that. And besides that, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you think there's something to worry about for me? What about you? Uh, is your hairline receding? Leave a like if you liked the video. Thanks for watching the video, it means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So this was me back in 2013. As tall as I am today, but 20 kilograms lighter, which is pretty crazy to think about. Many of you guys already know my story. I started with my one year transformation back in 2013, and I put on about 10 kilograms of muscle, and then I uploaded this transformation video in 2014. And since then, it has reached uh, 25 million views, and to this day, I still get you know messages from people telling me how much it motivated them and help them. And all of this was really the start of a new journey for me. A journey to help you guys achieve the same kind of transformation I did because I know how much it changed my life. And now I've become more determined than ever to help change yours as well. And apart from all my personal experience and, and my years of working out, I also study sports science at the University of Copenhagen, all a part of my journey to become the best online coach I can be to help you get the best results possible. I started online coaching back in 2019, and also I've done personal training for about five years. So I know what it takes to help you. For some of you guys listening, my freely available videos here on YouTube may be everything you need. But if you feel like you lack motivation sometimes, you don't feel like you're reaching your goals and you don't know exactly what steps to take to get there and you want good results but not, you know, spend years achieving it, I'm available. I can be your coach, but I need you to be motivated and willing to put in the work it takes. You know, I've been there myself and I want you guys to achieve the same as well. You know, get the self-confidence, get the self-worth, build muscle, lose weight, whatever your goal may be. You know, just looking in the mirror and liking what you're seeing, like being satisfied, that's important to all of us. With my online coaching, I can help you realize these goals and get you the physique you want. Of course, everybody is different, but you can make a difference. And that's really the key. I help my clients by creating a personalized workout program based on your workout preferences, the equipment you have available, you know, whether you work out in the gym or do home workouts. Also, you'll get exclusive tutorials and explanation videos for all the different exercises in the program. Everything to get you the best results. 
And besides that, I also make a personalized nutrition program based on your diet preferences, you know, with full recipes and all the ingredients you need and all that. Even your food budget I'll take into account as well. My clients can always contact me anytime with questions so I can help you guys uh, overcome these challenges you might have. And also I do weekly check-ins for my clients to make sure that you're motivated. I want you to succeed. You know, that's really it because my client's success, you know, before, after wise, transformation wise, that reflects on me as a coach as well. So I, I really want you to succeed. So if you want to join the team and you want to make a difference for yourself and you're willing to put in the work it takes, then go visit my website, fill out the formula and we'll have a talk about your goals, your ambitions and how I can help you achieve it. Just remember, this is not for everyone. I do have a limited amount of spots available because of all the time I spend on each client, you know, with programs and communication and everything. So I need to work with clients, again, who are willing to put in the work it takes. If you follow my advice and my programs, will get you to where you wanna be. This is your online coach, Chris. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you wanna support. And I'll see you on the website, or in any case, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing well. Twist your body a little bit that way, so. And make sure you really position as I showed. I can just show it again. And squeeze your biceps. You really want to focus on what muscles you're actually using. It's a lot harder if you go down like this. You're going to move away from hypertrophy and strength. We'll start going.